Welcome to the spoken tutorial on how to add an item type in the Koha interface. In this tutorial, we will learn about item types and how to add an item type. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system 16.04 and Koha version 16.05. To follow this tutorial, learners should have knowledge of library science. To practice this tutorial, you should have Koha installed on your system and you should have admin access in Koha. If not, please refer to the Koha Spoken Tutorial series on this website. Let us begin. Let me switch to the Koha interface. Recall that we had created a super librarian Bella. We will now log in with username Bella and her password. Now we are inside the Koha interface as super librarian Bella. Before we move ahead, let us first understand what are item types. Item types typically refer to the material in the library such as books, journals, CDs or DVDs, etc. Every item type in Koha has a collection code assigned to it. This code uniquely identifies that item type. Let us learn to add a new item type. On the Koha homepage, click on Koha Administration. Go to the section Basic Parameters and click on item types. Click the new item type button at the top of the item types administration page. In the item type field, enter a code for the new item type that you want to add. I will type REF. The description field is the description of the item type. So here I will type reference. I will skip search category field. Next is choose an icon. Click on the tab bridge. Here from the below given options, click on the icon to be associated with the item type. I will select this reference icon. Next we will learn how hide in opaque helps. Let us say a book is damaged and or has to be kept back for binding purpose. In such cases, the option hide in opaque will make the book invisible to all the users. As per your requirement, check or uncheck the checkbox for hide in opaque. I will leave the checkbox blank. Use the Not for Loan option for items which are kept in the library but not circulated. For example, reference books, rare books, dictionary, etc. I will leave this checkbox blank. You may enter an amount to be charged in the Rental Charge field if you wish to. Particular items in the library may have to be charged a minimal rental fee. I will not enter any fee as rental fee is not required to be charged on most items. If you wish to enter a fee, then remember to enter a valid number only. Next is the check-in message text field. Check-in message depends on the type of the particular item. The option could be book, serial, CDs or DVDs bound volume, microfilm, etc. In the field check-in message, I will type bound volume. This is followed by check-in message type. Depending upon the item type, select a message or an alert for the item. Remember, as per the selected option, a message or an alert will be displayed when check-ins are done for this particular item. I will select Message. Next is SIP Media Type. 
it categorically defines a particular item type whether it's a book, a book with a CD, book with disc, book with an audio tape, CD or CD-ROM, bound journal, disc, etc. SIP is basically required if the library is using self-check-in or self-check-out. For SIP media type, I will select bound journal from the drop-down. In the summary field, write a summary of the respective item if you want to. I will type item type reference facilitate self-checkout or return. Lastly, click on save changes button. A new page item types administration opens up. All the details that were filled for the new item type appear in a tabular form on the page Item Types Administration. Some important things to note are Collection codes assigned to item types cannot be edited. Description of the item type can be edited. Once an item type is used by items in the library, it cannot be deleted. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about item types and how to add an item type. As an assignment, add a new item, serial, to your library. After completing this assignment, you should have the following in item types. Periodical with the check-in message, bound volume. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Bella Tony from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.